Hi guys, and as you can see, I've got a very special box set in front of me indeed. It's the Horus Heresy Burning of Prospero box set by Games Workshop. But before we take a look at this box set, I want to say a huge thank you to my YouTube channel sponsors, Goblin Gaming, who sent me this box set out for review. Now, if you check the description down below, you'll find a direct link to Goblin Gaming's web store and you can go and check them out for yourselves. And also, which would be really helpful, if you actually do purchase anything from Goblin Gaming, if you mention in the comments field that OPN sent you, that would be really helpful. So, uh, let's take a look at the box set. So let's take a look at the box set then, shall we? So, from the front of the box set, we can see we've got uh, Grigor there, or Grigor, or however his name's pronounced. So sorry if I've got the pronunciations of the names wrong. We've got Ariman to the right of him. We've got the Thousand Suns looking awesome with the Tartarus Terminator at the extreme bottom right of the box art. Then we've got the Custodes and the Sisters of Silence and the Space Wolf there. We've got Prospero in the background. So beautiful artwork. And then on the sides of the box, We've got the Horus Heri Burning of Prospero, a miniature game of desperate battle in the 31st millennium. And then as we turn over to the back of the box, uh, we can see we've got some beautifully painted miniatures by the heavy metal team there that look absolutely stunning. Um, we've got the sisters there, the custodes, Grigor, Ariman, Mark III uh, Space Marines and the Tartarus Terminators up top. And then obviously we've got some uh, cards and some dice. So let's have a read of the whole contents of this box set then, shall we? So we've got a 16-page background book. We've got a 32-page rule book, two profile sheets, five double-sided board tiles, 15 psychic power cards, 36 warp energy and willpower cards, 24 dice counters and templates. And then we come to the, the best part of the box set, the miniatures. So then we've got Azek Araman. Uh, Gigor Falhand, 5 Tartarus Terminators, 30 Legion Veterans, uh, that's the Mark III guys. Then we've got the 5 Custodians and the 5 Sisters of Silence. So that's taking a look at the actual box art uh, and the back of the box. So now let's have a look at the meat of this box set and we'll have a look at the contents. Okay guys, so this is the first time I've actually opened up this box set. I've literally just taken the shrink wrap off. So let's have a look at the juicy details inside. So first of all, we can see we've got the Mark III miniature. So what I'll be doing is I'll be taking the miniatures out one by one and having a look at them like so. So let's just zoom in. So this is a sprue of the Mark III and we've got all the legs there. And now this is my favourite Mark of Space Marine because of all the detail on the leg plating armours. They look beautiful once you've added a pin wash to all those cracks and crevices of the armour plates. And then up top we've got some of the arms and then we've got some bolt pistols uh, there all in their holsters. Uh, then we've got the, I think that's a Phobos pattern, Boltac, correct me if I'm wrong guys, but it's a beautiful design, uh, a bolt gun, and then we've got those really cool looking heads that look absolutely fantastic, and then we've got an actual different one there, which I'm pro it's probably hard for my camera to pick up, let me just zoom in guys. Instead of having the slits there on the uh, mouth shield, it's got uh, round puncture holes, which looks really cool. Uh, then we've got the torsos, which look really cool. I love the look of these tors torsos with the intricate um, rivets. That's the word I was looking for on those torso plates there. Look fantastic. And then even the back, of the uh, torsos look really detailed there. And then obviously we've got the shoulder pauldrons as well, all looking good. And the sprues are gonna repeat themselves a lot now, boys. So I'm just going to skip all the repeating sprues. And 
Here we've got two of these sprues. I'm just going to break this in half to make it easier to show on camera. Again, we've got the legs and the arms and the bolters. But here we can see we've got some beautiful backpacks which are actually in two parts where normally the uh, backpacks are in one part so it's interesting to see that they come as two parts in this box set and we've got some chain swords down the bottom some really nice bare head options that you can see there we've got a plume to go on the top of the sergeant's helmet which is a nice little touch there and then we've got some really nice power fist designs and that one's a really cool one with a, a sharp thumb sticking out and then we've got the, the claws there so it's a, it's a power claw fist that looks really 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 nice and then on the bottom of the sprue here we can see that we've got a Malta gun, a plasma gun, plasma pistol and a bolt pistol. Just getting some more sprues out. Again, these two sprues repeat themselves. So we've got the power fist sprue here with the backpacks. And here we've got the heads, bolters and torsos and shoulder pauldrons again. Now we're coming to some new sprues. I'll just break that apart so I can show you. And um, we've got what looks like um, added power claws that you can turn the power fists into, which is fantastic for the Tartarus Terminators there. And then you've got the bolt, the um, twin link bolt guns, I believe they are. And you can see some of the legs there. Look absolutely fantastic. I love that leg design there with the big uh, rivets or the big... I don't even know what you'd call those. The bigger than rivets. But they look cool. And then we've got a really nice bare head there, guys. So, that's that sprue just seam out a little okay and back to another Tartarus sprue here of the Terminators and we've got the really cool shoulder pauldrons there and then we've got the torsos and what I love about these torsos guys to me the mind me remind me I should say of mini little contemptors I think they look just fantastic I really do and here we've got some heavy weapon options by the looks of it, guys. Uh, we've got a twin link. Um, is it an assault cannon? Not an assault cannon. I've I'm misplaced the words for what that is. It's a twin linked something. But I'm sure in the comments field down below you can tell me what weapon that is. It's uh, just slipped me what weapon that is called at the moment. And then we've got a power sword hand there that looks really cool. But, uh, looks so good, guys. I am gushing at these sprues. They look so good as I'm going through them. Uh, next sprue. We have got my favourite of this box set, which is the Custodes. And just look at the detail on those shoulder pauldrons, guys. Let me just get you in a little closer. They look absolutely fantastic, guys. They really do. Just beautiful um, sculpting work there by the GW designers. And then we've got the shields there. Now I thought the shields on, and I still do think the shields on this uh, Ultramarine Invictaria Suzerain squad are probably the nicest shields, but these probably come a close second. Look at those shields, guys. 
and we've got another one there and then we've got that absolutely amazing cloak beautiful just beautiful guys and then we've got another custodes sprue here and we've got the detail on the legs and I have to say guys as well that these custodes are a good head sort of height bigger than space marines they are big and they are bulky they look brilliant and then we can see the torsos there and we've got a bare head up top there and I'm not sure what weapon this is here but it looks so cool and so does uh, the uh, staff with the uh, bolt gun there just lovely work I can't wait to get started on these guys and build them up and paint them for you I'm going to do a tutorial on the custodes and I'm hoping that I'll have the tutorial ready for next Saturday um, I won't promise guys because it takes me a long time to obviously paint them and to edit all the footage but hopefully I'll be able to get that ready for next Saturday so fingers crossed so I can't wait to start painting these I'm probably going to be using Alclad paints to get a really nice bright reflective finish on their armour so that's the custodes now we've got the sisters and there is a sprue there if I can just zoom you in guys so the sisters are silenced there and they look really cool with their cloaks remind me a little of the dark Aldar that uh, the shape of the of the armor there really nice and then we've got some really nice intricately designed shoulder pauldrons there and then we've got some weapons there as so we can see a flamer and a bolt gun another flamer there and another bolt gun and then we've got a head there that I don't know whether my camera's picking that up too well because it's a side on view and then we've got another uh, unique sprue with two different again cloaks now it just shows you the, the level of detail Games Workshop have gotten in they could have been really lazy and replicated the cloaks on each and every single one but they've all got intricate designs that are unique to each one that you can see there fantastic work there by the games workshop and then we've got our last uh, sprue of the sisters there and then last but not least guys we've got two sprues here we've got looking for his head there's his head guys uh, Geiger or Gregor however we pronounce the name guys again apologies for mispronunciation if I have and look at that backpack if that backpack doesn't scream out badass, I don't know what does. And then we've got the awesome looking shoulder pauldron there as well. He looks so cool. And that awesome looking lightning claw. And you can see even the intricate details on the actual claw itself. Let me zoom in. Sorry for knocking the camera guys there. Look at that, exquisite detail. 
and then last but not least guys we have Araman himself and there we can see up top we have his helmet his cloak with the backpack there that awesome looking stave the front of his torso That looks just so cool, guys. And we've also got a dead Space Marine that can be used as his base, which is going to look absolutely fantastic. Lovely design there, guys. Just exquisite. So, that is all of the miniatures uh, we've looked at, guys. I'm just going to have a look at the books now. I just want to quickly mention this decal sheet, guys, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Now, this decal sheet's much better than the decal sheet that came with the Betrayal at Kelf box set, where you only had a limited amount of decals for the Ultramarines and the Chaos um, Marines that were in the box set. I forget the name of the chapter that there was now off the top of my head. But uh, here we've got enough chapter symbols to make every single marine, marine in this box set. That's the 30 tactical marines, the Tartarus Terminators, and all of them, and the Terminator Sergeant shoulder pauldron. So we have enough markings to make the whole box set either Thousand Suns or Space Wolves, which I think is a, a fantastic addition to this box set. We also mustn't forget guys that we get a huge bag of bases for all the miniatures and then we get our dice as well in the box. Okay guys, so first of all we're going to look at the Horus Heresy Burning of Prospero Legions at War booklet and as you can see from the very first picture of that awesome artwork that really does represent the miniature really well even the design on the power claws there is exactly the same as the miniature and i love the way that these booklets are produced just like the forge world horus heresy booklets so here we've got some fluff which is really nice the space wolves legions we got some beautiful artwork there now if this doesn't inspire you let me just get the camera in a little bit closer there shall we guys now if this doesn't inspire you to turn away those horribly plain and bland gray plastic sprues and paint them up i don't know what does i mean just look at it awesome artwork so we've got space wall packs represent their designation with strident designs beautiful and then we've got an awesome looking custodian guard there and then we've got the sisters of silence and then we've got Ariman and those awesome looking Tartarus Terminators and the Thousand Sun Legions and I love the decals and the, the iconography that you get on the Thousand Suns. Love the white and red. Looks really nice. So that's that booklet looked at. Then we've got the rule book. Okay guys, so I'm not going to take too long looking at the instruction booklet. I'm just going to flip the pages. And if you want to take a closer look at them, I'm sure you can pause the video there. But as I'm flicking through the pages, I just want to go over the value that is inside this box set. Now, if you pick this up from Goblin Gaming, you're looking at £76 with free shipping to get this box set. And you're getting 30 Tactical Marines. You're getting five Tartarus Terminators. You're getting five Sisters, five Custodians and the HQ models. Phenomenal value for money in this box set. Even if you don't intend to actually play the Horus Heresy game that this box set is for and you actually just want to break down the box set and make your own new starting army I think it's fantastic I'm either going to start a brand new 
Space Marine Army, which I haven't decided yet. Could even be Space Wolves, because I like the look of the pre-Heresy Space Wolves so much. Or I'm going to paint Ultramarines. I might even go Thousand Suns, guys, because they look cool. I really don't know what I'm going to do at the moment. Sorry for not flicking the pages. Um, got carried away with my excitement of what I'm actually going to paint these miniatures up as. But, um, yeah, the value for money that this is this box set represents is... It's just fantastic. It really is for want of a better word. So there we have the instruction booklet. We've got two profile sheets for the, the loyalists and the traitor profiles. And then the last booklet is going to be the rules book so let's have a look at the rules book shall we and we can see some of the beautiful miniatures there painted setting up the game playing the game casting psychic powers movement phase the attack phase resolving attacks I also have to mention guys that the paper that is used on this rule book is really thick and glossy it's uh, really well made and and it's a quality product and look at that stunning picture there I can just zoom out a little. That looks so cool, guys. Uh, do you know what, guys? I might paint them up Thousand Suns. <laughs> we'll have to see, but that looks so good. Okay, and lastly, guys, we're just going to have a look at the boards that you play the game on. Okay, so here we've got the tiles, guys, or the boards, if you like. And we can see that we've got some really beautiful artwork here, guys. Now, these are absolutely perfect to take. If you're not using them for the game, you can literally stand them up and take photographs of your miniatures as backgrounds for this awesome artwork. You can easily do that, guys. And this is another board. got another board love this artwork it's lovely got some more boards and last but not least it looks like we've got some counters and markers there so um, just going to put a few of the miniatures back on the table and we'll just recap a little bit of the contents of this box set and just talk about it a little bit just before we stop this video. So we've looked at all the miniatures guys, we've had a look at the boards that you get in the box set and we've even had a look at the bases that we get in this box set lots of them i may add uh, 47 of them to be precise and i just want to know what your thoughts are my thoughts if i was to rate this box set it'd be a 10 out of 10 if the betrayal at calf was a 9 out of 10 then i'd say this was a 10 out of 10 i think this box set is even better than the betrayal at calf box set uh, because i Prefer the Mark III Space Marines. Love the Tartarus there. Custodes are a dream come true for most hobbyists out there. I'd say just so good. And the miniatures really do represent the fluff of the Custodes. Not that I'm an expert on fluff, guys. But I know enough to know that the Custode miniatures do represent them really well. So, uh, 
I really want to hear your thoughts on this guys. Please put a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this box set. I really like hearing what you've got to say on these matters guys. And also don't forget to check out my YouTube channel sponsors Goblin Gaming in the description box down below. And I'll catch you in the next video guys. Thank you for watching.